Ollie from Y Boats here. So today we are looking at a Sunbeam 39 from 2005. We'll have a quick tour of the outside, the equipment, and then we'll have a look down below. So as you can see here, we've got a Furlex 300S. We've got a recessed anchor here with no roller. So you'll see from the inside of this anchor locker here, how that's set up. Really nice rigging here that goes underneath the deck keeps it out of the way and so you're not able to trip over so here we are at the mast this boat is an in-mast furling so the sail is protected when it's not in use just got the uv cover here so it's really easy sailing again for a single-handed or short-handed sailing all lines are under the deck so as you can see they go directly down the mast straight through underneath the fixed windscreen that we've got here and come out next to the winches on both sides. As you can see, we've got a really lovely deep cockpit, nice and safe, high sides, great position on the helm and the throttle in a lovely place, making it easy to maneuver when you're coming in or out marinas. We've got auto helm, windlass control and a bow thruster control. Here we are on the stern of the boat. We have a sugar scoop transom. We've got two steps here with a boarding ladder that folds away. We've got two large lockers for lines and flares. I'm sure there'll be other things that fit in there as well. Coming up onto the boat, we have the aft seats. Some people call them G&T seats, depending on what kind of drink you like. And this is a really nice, easy platform to get up onto the boat, either into the cockpit or forward. So under the cover here, we've got the Harkin winches. On the starboard side, electric, making it nice and easy. With most of the main lines coming here. Main furler, outhaul, topping lift, and Genoa furler. Navigation aid here, we have the Raymarine hybrid touch chart potter with radar. We've got Raymarine speed, wind speed and direction, and depth. So here we are in the saloon. As you can tell, the headroom's very good. I'm six foot and have a little bit of a gap there. That's the same throughout the boat. A little bit lower in the galley just because of the cockpit seating. On the starboard side, we have a linear seat with cupboard storage. And on the port side, we have an L-shaped seat, again with storage, both sides and a shelf. The table here is a drop leaf offset to one side to make the walkthrough to the forward cabin nice and easy. So now we're in the forward cabin. We've got a very large V berth, again, over six foot. Shelving to the starboard side and lockers to the port. This room has its own ensuite. As you can see here, we've got a marine toilet, Jabsco, with a pull-out shower and sink. Being a centre cockpit boat, we have a really nice layout inside that allows you to walk to the galley, through to the aft cabin, and also onto the ensuite. So this galley here has a large fridge, very deep, and also a small freezer there. We've got three gas burner hob with oven, twin stainless steel sinks with hot and cold water, and lots of additional storage, glass storage here, and even a little bin. We've got engine access this side and also from the other side that makes it really easy to look after the boat. So here we are in the master cabin, the aft cabin here. We've got a large central berth which means you can access it from both sides. We've also got a small seat here which I'm sitting on. His and hers wardrobe, one this side and one there as well and also other little bits of storage around the bed. Got lovely lighting from the windows behind the bed, a large opening hatch here and two small hatches here. Here we are in the other heads. We've got access from the aft cabin and also from the saloon. As you can see, this one has the sink again with a hot and cold, storage below, and also with a heating outlet 
down below the floor level. On this side, we have the shower with a toilet seat cover. So when you're not using the toilet, you can keep that down. And underneath, we have a Jabsco manual toilet. This boat really does have a wonderful chart table, forward facing, nice and easy to lock yourself in if you're underway or comfortable if you're in the marina doing your passage planning. Raymarine C80 chart plotter here. We have the VHF, Navtex viewer weather, Sony radio and CD player, and we do have the 12 volt panel there. Down here we've got the Webasto heating, a 230 volt and also the EPIRB that is coming with the boat. Before we finish the tour, we have a quick look at this. Yanmar 55 horsepower, four cylinder engine with extremely low hours, reading 182. She's fitted on a shaft with a feathering propeller. Thank you for joining us on the full video tour of the Sunbeam 39. The boat is currently out of the water here at Deacons, available for viewing, and the full inventory and specification is online at www.yboats.com.